Yes, good morning, students. So here we go with the chapter. We already started it, and now the last part of the chapter is there. So the point had come when <clears throat> the narrator, you know, he was like explaining that uh, uh, he he had been attracted by that uh, third level. The third level was the place where he wanted to go again, and he had even given the premium account. Uh, amount to go there so that if he goes there then he would not have to come back just because of the shortage of funds right so and that was that i left the same way i came and i suppose next day during lunch hour i drew 300 dollars out of the bank nearly all we had and bought old style currency that really worried my psychiatrist friend so what what uh, why this worried why was the psychiatrist worried at the narrator's uh, you know move of getting purchasing the old style currency why was the psychiatrist worried about it do you know the answer the narrator purchased old style currency thereby giving a premium amount of 100 dollars why was it a matter of worry for the psychiatrist can anyone tell me if yes raise hand it was a matter of worry it was a matter of tension for the psychiatrist that his client that his you know patient narrator had given had even purchased old style currency uh, to settle in third level to settle in the past so so far one is uh, talking about like uh, the past was beautiful that uh, that was a nice time it's okay but when somebody becomes over serious when somebody becomes uh, uh, serious and also very you know very much prepared to be there then it becomes a matter of concern especially for the psychiatrist right you can buy old money at almost any coin dealers but you have to pay a premium my 300 dollars bought less than 200 in old style bills but i didn't care eggs were 13 cents a dozen in 1894 but i have never again uh, found the corridor that leads to third level at grand central station although i have tried often enough so though he was ready with money also yet he was not able to find that corridor again Louisa was pretty worried when I told her all this, and didn't want me to look for the third level any more. And after a while, I stopped. So for some time, uh, his wife, you know, uh, he told his wife all about uh, what he wanted, and uh, she also discouraged him to go for that kind of search. So eventually, after some time, even narrator also stopped looking for third level. Underline this. I went back to my stamps. so he started uh, stamp collection again but now we both no we are both looking but now we are both looking who are we both who are we both narrator and his wife both so his wife never ever encouraged him to go for past but now she also started uh, uh, giving him company in uh, in looking for the stamp collection but now we are both looking every weekend because now we have proof that the third level is still there now both wife and husband they are looking for third level because even both of them have got a proof that the third level is there so now what proof has come in their hand let's see my friend sam bener disappeared nobody knew where but i sort of suspected because sam's a city boy and i used to tell him about gaysburg i went to school there and he always said he liked the sound of the place and that's where he is all right in 1894 so what's the proof the proof is that his friend same winner has reached the third level and he says that he likes the place he likes the sound of the place so he has gone back in 1894 because one night so how uh, how did he get this proof that his friend is there because one night first thing with my stamp collection i found well do you know what a first day cover is 
so he says that when he was like uh, going on with his stamp collection activities then uh, he was he says like do you know what first day cover is when a new stamp is issued stamp collectors buy some and use them to mail envelopes to themselves on the very first day of sale and the postmark proves the date so the day when a stamp is issued then the people those who are fond of stamp collection uh, they post a uh, envelope they post one envelope in their own address so that way the stamp gets you know uh, it gets seized uh, in, in stamped by the post office so that postmark proves the date the envelope is called a first day cover so that envelope which is mailed by the stamp collector to himself uh, that is called a first day cover they are never opened you just put blank paper in the envelope okay that night among my oldest first day covers i found one that shouldn't have been there so the one day when he was uh, you know opening up his uh, stamps you know and all he found one letter which should not have been there why it should not have been there because it was never there but there it was it was there because someone had mailed it to my grandfather at his home in galesburg that is what the address on the envelope said and it had been there since july 18 1894 all the stamp was a 6 cent dull brown with a picture of president garfield naturally when the envelope came to uh, granddad in the mail it went right into his collection and stayed there till i took it out and opened it the paper inside wasn't blank it read so usually children what we have read out the first day covers are usually blank but this paper was not blank because it was actually from his friend let's see from whom so here is the paper which was there inside so charlie i got to wishing you wishing that you were right that then i go to believing you were right charlie and charlie it's true i found the third level i have been here two weeks and right and right now down the street at the deaf is someone's is playing a piano and they are all out on the front porch singing seeing nali home and i am invited over for lemonade come on back charlie and louisa keep looking till you find the third level it's worth it believe me so he got a letter from his friend sam the one who was in third level and sam is uh, praising the third level for its beauty for its calmness for its for its nature okay for its serenity and he even invites a narrator charlie along with his wife there so have you got till now something like sam winner disappeared the one who lived with this narrator he disappeared and he went to the past and from there he wrote a letter to this narrator charlie and of course because he was writing from the past so letter went into the collection of the past which his grandfather had been preserving okay so this envelope which was there in the stamp collection uh, uh, you know pile which was of grandfather it was there the note is signed sam at the stamp and coin store i go to i found out that sam bought 800 dollars worth of old style currency so when he went to the store from where he got the coins earlier he got to know that sam also purchased 800 dollars of old currency that ought to set him up in nice little hay feed and grain business so that much of 800 dollars would be enough to set him to enable him the business of feed gra uh, grain or hay and he always said and he always said that he, uh, that what he really wished he could do and he certainly can't go back to his old business not in galesburg illinois in 1894 his old business why sam was my psychiatrist so what's the old why what so sam was a psychiatrist and he always wished mind it what did sam always want he always wanted to open up this business of hay feed or grains but he was a psychiatrist so what happens like usually we pick up the professions which we actually don't want to have 
in our mind there is always something else so subconscious level works so now sam had disappeared into the third level where he was doing what he wanted to do so the psychiatrist to the one who was laughing at his the one who was telling him that it was a figment of his imagination that very person is inviting now this person to reach third level so the story ends here leaving behind uh, the questions which we need to answer to ourselves and to the examiner okay first of all we need to know whether it is uh, possible is it possible that somebody can somebody go to back can somebody go 200 years ago it's not possible but here the story says that it is possible so what what do you draw out of here what's your conclusion what's the conclusion the conclusion is can anyone speak up what's the conclusion first conclude the chapter in your words yes ishpuneet yes what do you say about it unmute yourself ishpuneet unmute yourself ishpuneet i have yes ishpuneet yes anyone who wants to speak up yes does anyone want to say anything this chapter is a science fiction so the things have been proven from the scientific point of view but it's a fiction fiction means it is not a real story so the point is what is somewhere in the subconscious mind of ours that we believe sometimes that that is right so when the subconscious mind starts overtaking us then we start getting disconnected from the real world and become more adjusted in the past or then we get more adjusted in that situation about which we are wishing or thinking about so when we talk about the children who play video games or those uh, games which are very very like famous nowadays why they are always you know discouraged from playing these uh, games virtual games the reason is that makes their them subconsciously being in the game and they start losing track of the real world they start getting disconnected from the real world where they should be otherwise they they start finding themselves in the games itself so the more you think about something the more you start living in that but that is always always virtually not actually it's the other people who got to know that the person is you know a little unbalanced that the person has lost control over his mind but that person doesn't come to know about it for that person that world is a reality but that is not actually possible okay so in this world charlie kinds of people are not not very rare you can't imagine how many charlies are moving around us in the real life any sort of addiction any sort of you know uh, you know subconscious problem can make us like charlie or sam what is sam the one who has become a psychiatrist but did he actually want to become a psychiatrist no he wanted to become a businessman the business of hay grain or uh, uh, or something like that so that he is opening up in his you know imagination 
so same is about charle though charle says that he is very well settled in the modern world he is wearing the dresses like that he is very well adjusted he says he is earning good money and all but there is something that makes him get stressed up and he wants to escape maybe he doesn't accept it but it is so so the in the end conclusion is like no let's not get so much engrossed in this uh, in the mundane life that we forget to have a control upon ourselves the fear the distress the worries the anxieties the stress the tensions they should not overtake us okay what should overtake we should remain a balanced person okay the work should not make us overworked we work to sustain ourselves we don't work to be overworked right so having a control upon our mind body and soul so that is the solution to overcome this kind of disaster which has happened with charle or sam minded children one thing you have to understand very clearly that if sam has gone to the past it's not that he has really gone in 1894 the point is that he has become a little uh, distracted from the real world he is there only but he doesn't realize that he is here okay it's only his uh, fragmented mind you know which has made him feel that he is in 1894 but he is in very much present condition so this is what we call as being uh, schizophrenic means uh, with split personality or with the uh, with uh, you know with certain mind disorders brain disorders these are brain disorders these are not the this is not that one has gone to the past okay so this is brain disorder when you do something but you don't like it so for god sake don't do some, something in your life which you don't actually want to do and when you want do something against your choice or against your uh, will somewhere or the other you start becoming unhappy and tensions or the stress you know they start overtaking you but when you do something which you like which you which is your passion then it will not overtake you it will not make you overworked you will enjoy it you will keep on enjoying that okay if music is in your blood go for music if you want to be an artist become an artist don't choose science just because uh, you are you want to be something which your parents want you to be okay so let you dominate upon your mind you do what you wish to do okay these are brain, these are the disorders these are psychological disorders which charlie or sam are are facing okay and these kinds of disorders can be overcome when we take a control of our life okay when there is a balance between our mind body and soul what is mind what we work okay when we have got so many things to do in a in a day then mind becomes overworked then the mind needs rest thereby giving it some uh, balance thereby when you take care of your body when you do yoga meditation when you relax when you do some exercises that way your mind body and when you go for spirituality then your mind body and soul are at balance then there is uh, no way of uh, becoming overworked and uh, the basic thing is do what you like okay love what you do don't take the things for as burden and doesn't mean that what we are doing then it should be always something we work we love point is that you love what you do and you do what you love both ways and there are certain things in our life which we have to do because that, that is how we can sustain our life okay if you have to uh, uh do some exercise for half an hour and if you do that exercise uh, with a uh, with a burden like i have to do this then that exercise will also become an over, over burden for you okay if your mother is making cooking food there by taking it as a burden then she won't be able to enjoy the cooking there are many people those who enjoy cooking 
okay they they become chefs because they love cooking anyone can become a chef the one who loves cooking anyone can become a good singer the one who loves singing but the point is that what you do you should love it there won't be any stress there is that clear so that's the crux of the chapter like uh, you go through the back questions and uh, from tomorrow we will start revising the the revision schedule will start off and your first revision test will be will be next tuesday right so next tuesday will be your first revision test and the first revision test will consist of uh, uh, i have already circulated i guess this schedule have i circulated the schedule of revision test 1 okay so start revising your concepts one by one don't do all topics all in one day okay so see you tomorrow